All right, it's been a couple of years uh, <laughs> since I said I was going to get right on uh, rebuilding this uh, control panel for Smash TV, but I finally have gotten around to uh, these two now have been rebuilt, so they're uh, good to go. And I'm going to pull at least one of these other ones out tonight. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to... One of these I actually had to use a Dremel and cut it out. Uh, it was uh, it was so rusted. It actually uh, let me turn on the light here. All right. So over here, this was the piece that was on the actual joystick, and there's the centering grommet. And for reference of what they <laughs> should look like, this is a new old stock one I bought. So I actually had to cut one of those out with the Dremel and I'm pretty sure this one over here on the left, I'm gonna have to do the same thing because it is not spinning at all. This one is, uh, hopefully that'll come out easy, but I'll find out. Well, the first thing I wanted to do is Go ahead and hit this with the uh, magic eraser. Let's see if I can. I know I think I've done this in the past at one point, but let's see if I can get a little bit cleaner. So, let's see how this turns out here. That's just the <laughs> start. So I'm gonna cut away from this and uh, go ahead and do this a few times, and then I'll come back uh, when I'm ready to pull these uh, other joysticks out. All right. So ran over the magic eraser about three times, and that's uh, still not really clean, but looks better than it did. So uh, for now, just want to get ahead to. Uh, Taking this apart. Let me turn this down here. All right. All right. So first thing uh, is to pop off this retaining clip on the joystick here. Should use a flat head to pry that out. Okay, and that's what that thing looks like there. Well, I was worried about this thing being stuck in here and it is, so, so I'm probably gonna have to take this all apart and cut it out like I did with the other one with the Dremel. So there's the, uh, I can't remember what the heck this thing is called right now, but put this in some simple green and that cleans right up. So let me take the joystick apart here. Right now it's actually middle of December. Uh, live near Houston, Texas, so it's been kind of cool lately. For at least for what we would call cool here, been in the uh, you know, 30, 30s and or so degrees Fahrenheit, but today it warmed up to 70, and right now it's in the high 50s, so it's not too bad out here. I do have a heater sitting out here, but I don't feel I need to use it right now. All right, so 
inside the joystick you have this washer here. Yeah, this one has the same problem where the this grommet is just spinning around. Fortunately, the same thing that happened with the other one. Well, this one actually is in better shape than the. This was the other one I pulled out right here. I mean, that one was completely gone. This one isn't much better, but. Uh, I'm gonna try and pry at this thing and see if I can get it out, but. I am highly doubting it. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna. I can already tell that's not coming out. <laughs> All right. Well, great. I'm at the get my Dremel out, which I left it inside for some reason. So let me go get that and uh, get this thing out of here. All right, so now I got the uh, Dremel out here with the cutting wheel on it, and I'm going to, uh, to slowly cut that thing and, until I can get it to pry out. And the tricky part with this is not cutting into the joystick shaft, so. Uh, I did this the other night on the other one, and it took uh, uh, probably about 10 minutes, and I'll probably break the cutting wheel I have on there right now, so I'm probably going to have to change out at some point. But I'll give this a shot, and I'll probably end up muting the sound because this is really loud, and I'm going to be wearing uh, earmuffs while I'm doing this. All right. All right, I figured that was not enough. So I'm gonna have to get some more cutting wheels and put a new one on because that one is pretty much done for. In comparison here, yeah, if I can find the camera. There we go. So that one's pretty much just worn all the way down.
cutting wheel on. Put all my eye and ear protection back. And ready to cut a little bit more. See if I got any further out of time. Still not quite there. Alright, just got it cracked. <sighs> Alright. So, here we go. And, let me zoom out here. Didn't do too bad. Uh, just a little bit of a cut in there, but not bad at all. So, got that out. So, let me uh, go get my drill and get this thing cleaned up. All right. So, now I took my drill here and I got the joystick shaft inserted in here. And in this other hand, this is 150 grit sandpaper. And I can just go like this. And that will start to knock all the rust off the shaft. really hard to do while on camera so anyway that's the idea behind this so I'll cut back I'll cut out now all right so this is after a couple minutes this is what it now looks like that same one and you can see all the scratches on it so next up will be to hit it with uh, this right here which is just uh, turtle wax polishing compound so I'll uh, be doing that in a few minutes all right so now I got the uh, turn my uh, turn my lamp on here uh, this is the turtle wax just got it on here and then I can just move it around here and same thing up and down the shaft here to uh, get it polished up And one thing you actually can do on this ball, you can actually sand this ball too, but mine's in good enough shape that I'm not worried about that part of it, so I haven't done it in any of the others, the other two that I've done so far, so I'm not going to worry about in this one either. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and do this for a few minutes, so I'm going to 
come back when I am uh, ready to go on the next step. All right, and final step for this part is this uh, cleaner wax right here. Just uh, put a little bit of it on. Actually, got a lot there. And uh, the same thing. Pretty much probably going to be my uh, finished result for this part of it. So, just take that out, and there we go. That old rusted joystick shaft now looks uh, pretty new, which is a lot uh, cheaper than buying another replacement part for it because I'm already in uh, way more than I wanted to be for. <laughs> money goes because all four of these uh, centering grommets that are uh, completely dead they were uh, $15 each it was the cheapest I could find them and then I had also have to change out the the spring on each one of them too well, this one I actually this is the first one I've actually even gotten out but I've got new ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the new ones so between all those parts, I'm already about $80 in just for the joysticks on this game. So this was a, not a cheap thing to do, but it's definitely going to make it a lot nicer to play this game because it was really just not that much fun with the... All right, let's make sure I got this. See, it just wasn't that much fun with the... Uh, joysticks that were all busted up so these things uh, just gonna back them out what you just do uh, like this and I don't have a socket that's deep enough so I have to sit here and kind of uh, sit it down there and just barely get it in to get it started and I can get this thing out and just and that's what that looks like in the show uh, what I've been doing actually is painting these so yeah these over here is what I've uh, ones that I've already painted so that's what they look like after they they're painted so I'm gonna take all these out on this one here and uh, get those ready to paint and I'll uh, come back to this video after I get all this pulled out. All right, so I got that pulled out now, and here's what the uh, <laughs> underside of this looks like, and there's the dust cover. And then the actual underside of the control panel itself is, uh, that's what that looks like down there. So next thing I'm gonna do is uh, get all this stuff cleaned up I'll put some paint on those uh, other bolts I took out and that will be ready till tomorrow so I won't be able to do much more on this tonight but at least I got that that one taken out and uh, I'll probably go ahead and do the other one too I'm just gonna do that off camera because there's no point in showing the same thing a bunch of times and the other thing I have to do is actually from using the cutting wheel there's a bunch of dust all up in here so I might as well just go ahead and cut the other one off and I'm gonna have to uh, get all that dust out of there too for that one so just do it all at once so this is what it's uh, the basic process that I'm using at least for to change out these uh, joysticks uh, well at least re rebuild the joysticks for uh, this is a smash TV and the uh, the joysticks on a uh, Robotron uh, as far as I understand are the same type so uh, I'll probably be back later, uh, tomorrow, where I'll uh, put all this, uh, this stuff back together and hopefully, uh, looking nice and give it a try and see if everything's working right. Alright, one last one here before I, uh, 
stop filming for the night. I got this one out. I uh, did a little messier job this time. Got a little bit into the joystick on both sides. Right there, but uh, it's not enough to worry about. Uh, I'll sand these up and they'll, uh, of course this will be below where you can see anything anyway and it should be okay. <laughs>